You have to look at two different aspects of user interface. A technical aspect for user interface and a human aspect for, for user interface. The technical aspect is how literally do you make that user interface happen? We know that if that Facebook runs in a browser, if it runs in a browser, then it's using HTML. And so HTML is being used to construct a user interface. Okay, so that's the right way to think about it. The user interface is being constructed using HTML. You know from previous discussions that HTML is all about layout, putting things on the screen and making them look a certain way, right? One of the things we put on the screen are these controls that determine the user interface and the screen areas and the decorations and the content. Those are all things that are done by HTML. So HTML is the language we use in order to create the user interface. So there are issues and there are issues that keep user interfaces from being as good as they could be. And one of the biggest issues that is just a continuing pain in the butt is the existence of various different browsers that all work a little bit differently. So making the Facebook page work as well on a Macintosh as it does on a PC, making it work as well in Firefox as it does in Safari, all those issues are huge ones and concern the people who design user interfaces a lot. And oftentimes something doesn't happen or happens in a worse way because they can't figure out how to make it work well across all of those different browsers. Worked really great in one browser, completely bombs in another browser, so we have to change our methodology and do something much simpler. So that constraint of having it work across platforms, across different, um, uh, different browsers, as well, unfortunately, as making it work across different hardware. So Facebook has to work, in on, your, work on your mobile phone as well as working on your browser. Right? So those constraints are severe constraints on the user interface, severe constraints on how we can make things happen. So that's a technological constraint. Um, and there's also a time constraint. What can we do in the time we have to make, to make, this, uh, to make this user interface work? What can we pack into this time? If we had infinite time, we could make lots of different things happen, but we have limited time. So we're going to have to simplify and we're going to have to make things that maybe aren't as fancy as we wanted them to be because of time and effort constraints. Okay, so those are the technological aspects of user interface design. It's all about what can we manage to do given the technology constraints, given the time constraints. Uh, Facebook has a user interface and it's all laid out on the screen and different screen areas have different content in them. How is that managed? How do you, how, how does your how does, your, uh, how does your system decide what goes where on the page and then make sure that it all gets to the right place? Yeah, so I mean, at the, at the most superficial level, of course, we use HTML tables to determine the layout of the page and we have a bunch of UI engineers and designers who are really skilled in, in the art of uh, uh, HTML layout in a way that renders quickly and, um, and behaves you know, efficiently in, in your browser. Um, obviously, that space is very complex with multiple different browsers, each having different market shares, and we're trying to make sure that the experience is great no matter what browser you're on. Um, so, so that's a real challenge. In terms of behind the scenes, there's a lot of work that our um, design team and our product uh, management teams um, do to try to um, shape the way that we want those things to be laid out and try to you know, um, inform uh, the, the, the choices around layout mm -hmm. so that it's easily understandable to users, it is efficient for experienced users, it's easy to learn for new users and mm -hmm. so forth. Do you and have I, testing and sort of, I mean it seems like the, the Facebook UI changes relatively slowly, what would cause you to move something from one place to another place on the screen? Yeah, I mean, we would we would absolutely do several kinds of testing. Um, there are probably three different kinds of testing that we, we focus on. Um, first uh, and foremost is we use it ourselves every day. So every employee at this company um, every day has a Facebook uh, window, if not multiple mm -hmm. Facebook windows up, and we're using the latest versions of the code that we've submitted. So we are constantly so tracking. Facebook at work. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, uh, I think... Uh, you the only company on the planet. <laughs> we, uh, I, I wish there would be more.